The 333 RV rule. Is it something that you should follow? Have you even heard of it? What are they, Rachel? The three rules for the 333 RV rule are... It's a lot of 333... <laughs> three, three, <laughs> three nights, 300 miles, 3 p.m. What do we mean by this? So three nights means whenever you go into a location, you want to stay there for at least three nights. The first one, the reason, is for safety purposes. For safety purposes of the three nights, it gives you a chance to kind of chill out, go over your, your rig, make sure nothing's broken or anything like that. It helps you to decompress, to check over your rig, and look at what your next leg of your journey is going to be. It yeah. gives you a little bit of time to check and make sure that nothing broke along your journey. Yeah, we've done it, you know, two nights at one place and then even one night at one place. And it's just a quick turnover and it just adds to more stress. You don't really get a time to relax and, uh, you know, cook some good meals. And the whole point of RVing is to kind of enjoy the, the, the journey, right? And if you're just packing up and leaving the next morning. You don't even get to see the destination you're at. I'm getting bit by something. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, let's face it. When we, when you are pulling an RV and you're trying to go through a lot of traffic, especially in big cities, that is very, um, it gets you like all excited and your anxiety up. So this stressful. helps give you, yeah, yeah wears you out. It, wears it actually you out. can wear your, yeah. yeah, wears you out pretty well. So it gives you a little bit of chance to decompress for the next one. The second one is Enjoy. enjoyment. So why three days? We kind of touched on this a little bit. Why three nights, or excuse me, three nights at a location is it gives you a chance to kind of enjoy the, the process and enjoy the area you're at. Okay. The next one is cost. So the cost associated with three days, you know, usually uh, when you're going sometimes, play, or when you go to these places and you stay multiple nights, sometimes they'll offer reduced rates. And then some locations, I'm getting bit again. Oh, uh, some locations offer uh, reduced rates or excuse me, some locations, you have to actually get uh, multiple nights, you, you're billed for multiple nights, like if it's in a special weekend or something like that. And you know, it's just worth it to stay a little bit longer, get your money's worth instead of paying for two nights because maybe you have to pay for it there. 300 miles, why is my 300 miles? 300 miles is a good standard uh, for your traveling during the day because even the, as far as safety goes for 300 miles, it's a really good thing because even the government says you can't go more than that in a day when they send someone off for traveling because yeah. that's a full day of driving, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's what they consider a full eight hours. So when they send someone to like a temporary assignment or whatever, um, they, they, they recommend that they do just eight hours of traveling or 300 miles. 300 miles, the enjoyment part of it. Now, if you're going 300 miles, it is a full day of driving, but it does give you the opportunity to enjoy the scenery. And if you see something that you really, really would like to yeah. check out along the way, you can spend a good 30 minutes or so just pulled over and maybe checking out a waterfall that you wouldn't have gotten to get close up to. Yeah, she's definitely right on that. Cost associated with 300 miles. You know, you think, oh, how does that save my cost? Well, it kind of prolongs the journey so instead of paying for 500 miles for a day and then you're just bouncing the next spot door door yeah we had to track door down he was about to go chase a person down <laughs> um so cost as far as 300 miles goes with cost it just it prolongs the journey a little bit so you know you instead of traveling you know maybe 2,000 miles in a month you know you might reduce that to 1500 by just doing 300 miles so what does 3 p.m mean 3 p.m. is you want to arrive at your destination by 3 p.m. that day. And there is a good safety reason for that. You are arriving before it's getting dark, so you have time to set your camp up and to check really quick to see if there's anything that you've missed mm -hmm. or that you've broken along the way. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of, I've said this in some other videos, low branches and things like that can obviously do some major damage. Plus you get to see potholes and other things that could potentially you know, damage your rig. In the evening, you know, at a campsite, there's always little kids running around in bicycles and they don't always, some of them have all those cool light up shoes and light up wheels on their bicycles, but not all the time. It'll just save you some Heartache. potential mishap. <laughs> Oops, there you go. <laughs> all right. Enjoyment with uh, 3 p.m. If you get there by 3 p.m., you get to set up, chill, maybe cook a nice good meal instead of eating out and enjoy the location you're at. Maybe you get time to actually chill, watch the stars, you know, have a drink or two and then get a good night's rest for the next day. So the last part of the 3 p.m. Uh, rule is the cost. It is going to help save you in the long run 
for a few reasons. Like he was saying, you're getting to your location, you're able to get your dinner going, so that's one thing that you didn't have to go spend extra on yeah. is takeout because now you've set everything up, it's like 8 o'clock at night, you're tired, yeah. and you're just like, I just want something quick. At least you had a chance to do all that yeah. and make some food. DoorDash will deliver to campsites. Yes. But, yeah. <laughs> Not that <Yeah>. we know. <laughs> <laughs> We're just enjoying this nice, wonderful view. Talking about the three threes. Like, subscribe, please keep us going. Thanks. We'll see you next episode. All right, that's right. The oh, RV. Shit. Hold up.